Hey guys, it's Rich Man, and today we are talking about this. That's right, it's the Fire Stick, one of the best and least expensive streaming devices on the market today. And I know most of my viewers and most of you out there probably have one of these, or know somebody that has one of these. Well today, I'm going to show you 10 tips and tricks you can do with this that are going to blow your mind. And if you stay to the end of the video, I'm going to give you a couple of bonus tips. So grab your Fire Stick remotes and let's get started. Tip number one, the Fire Stick actually has a shortcut button. If you haven't used it already, the home button on your Fire Remote, it brings you to the home screen obviously. So if you're, if you scrolled on to something else, you hit the home button once, it brings you right back to the home screen. But did you know if you hold that button down, it brings you to this shortcut screen. You've got your apps, you can put it to sleep or you can get to your settings just by pressing and holding that home button. Tip number two, you can use Alexa to do your searches for you. If you just press and hold that microphone button up top here, go to Netflix. Here's Netflix. And you see it comes right up to Netflix. If I had it installed on my Fire Stick, it would just open it right up for me. Let's look for a TV show now. Go to Daredevil. And here's Daredevil on Netflix. So it's very simple guys, just use the Alexa button to do your searches for you. Tip number three is to jailbreak your Fire Stick. Now we call it jailbreaking it's really not a jailbreak. You're just opening up the developer options so that you can sideload apps onto your Fire Stick. You simply do that by going to settings. So I'm gonna use that shortcut I, I showed you earlier. Hold that home button, go over to settings, and then we're gonna scroll over to where it says my Fire TV. Click on that, go to developer options. Make sure both of these are turned on. If they're off, like this, just click once on the enter button, turn it on. When you click on here, this pop-up is gonna come on, just turn it on. That's all you have to do, you're ready to sideload. Then you're gonna need an app to sideload apps onto your Fire Stick. So go back to your home button, use Alexa again, and look for an app called Downloader. Downloader. And there it is guys, just install it and then check out some of my other videos to show you some great apps and APKs you can sideload onto your Fire Stick and Fire TV. Tip number four is calibrating your screen. So if you're playing a video and the video is too big for the screen, you don't have the whole thing on the screen or it's too small, you can actually adjust that. So if you go over to settings, and you go to display and sound. Click on that and you click on display. And if you go see down the bottom here, you go to calibrate display. Click on that and then you'll see on the, the four sides you've got arrows. You can see mine's already um, adjusted, but if your arrows are not, or like overextended beyond the screen, all you have to do is press the up or down button to adjust it so that the arrows are touching the sides of the screen and then press accept. Tip number five is you can use your phone, either your iPhone or your Android phone as a remote for your Fire TV or Fire Stick. So just go into your, uh, just go into the App Store or the Google Play Store, download the Fire TV remote, and then you can control everything from there. Uh, make sure that you're signed in to your home network, the same network that your Fire Stick or Fire TV is on. It's gonna find it automatically. You can just touch on it and it's gonna connect right up to your Fire Stick or Fire TV. And then you can use it as a remote. Tip number six, you can also cast videos from your phone to your Fire Stick or Fire TV. If I was on YouTube, if uh, on the top there's a little cast button, you just have to click on it and it'll ask you what you wanna to connect to. It'll show your devices that are on that network. You just have to touch on one of those devices and then it's gonna cast the video over to your Fire Stick or Fire TV. 
Tip number seven is pairing Bluetooth devices to your Fire Stick or Fire TV. I have here my Bose headset, my uh, Quiet Comfort 35, and I'm gonna pair it up to my Fire Stick. It's great because if I'm watching TV late at night, everybody else is asleep, I can just put my headphones on and, and everything's private. I don't have to disturb anybody. So just go over to your settings. Go over to where it says controllers and Bluetooth devices. Then you're gonna click on other Bluetooth devices. And then add a Bluetooth, Bluetooth devices. Click on that. And now it's searching. Then you're gonna to have to put your Bluetooth device in discovery mode. So I'm gonna do that now. And you can see it pops up here. So I'm gonna click on that. And now you can see that it's connected. So you can also do that with a uh, with one of these mini keyboards, which is great because instead of using this, if you don't want to use the search button or you don't want to use this remote, you can use the keypad to type in your searches. So it's the same thing with this. Um, once it's turned on, this has already been paired before, so you can see it connects right up. And if I hit the home button on this. We're back home and we can go over to search and then you can type in a search for anything here. So if say you want to type in downloader, you can just type it in on a keypad. And it's as simple as that. Then you can click on it and you can install it from there. So these mini keypads work great with the Fire Stick and Fire TV. If you're interested in one, I'll put a link in the description below to this and to the Bose headphones. They're both going to be affiliate links, so if you'd like to help out the Rich Man Knows Tech channel, just click on those links, head over to Amazon, and you can buy them over there. Tip number eight is to turn off the clicking sounds when you're, um, when you're scrolling through your Fire Stick or Fire TV. So if you just go over to Settings, and then you scroll over to Display and Sounds, if you go down to Audio, you can turn off the navigation sounds here. Tip number nine is to reset any of the apps that are starting to get a little buggy. Maybe the screen is freezing on you. This is especially true with some of the apps and the APKs that you're going to sideload onto your Fire Stick or Fire TV. So let's say you're using Cinema HD and, and it's frozen on you. So what you want to do here is you click your home button while, it, while you're in the app. It'll bring you back to this screen and then you're going to go over to your settings and you're gonna go over to Applications. Click on that, go down to Manage Installed Apps, and then you're gonna look for the app that you need to, uh, to stop. So we're, in this case, we're gonna scroll down to Cinema HD, click on that, and usually what I like to do is clear the cache first, and then go up to where it says for stop, restart it again, and everything should be working, uh, working smoothly at that point. Now tip number 10 is to update your Fire Stick every once in a while. Just check to see if it needs updating. Again, you're gonna go over to settings and then scroll all the way over here. Go to My Fire TV. If you click on About, you'll see at the bottom it says Check for Updates. Click on that and it's gonna show you here the date it last checked, which for me was September 30th today and my Fire TV is up to date. If yours says it needs to be updated, update it. It'll take a couple of minutes. It'll restart on its own. Now, if you stayed to this point, I'm gonna give you a couple of bonus tips. The first one is how to check your battery level on your remote. So we're gonna go back over to settings. Go over to controllers and Bluetooth devices. Click on Amazon Fire TV remotes. Scroll down the Amazon Fire TV remote, and over here you'll see the battery's okay. It's a voice remote, gives you the version number and the serial number. Bonus tip number two is to enable parental controls. So if you have small kids in the house, you definitely want to set this up. Go over to settings, and then scroll over to preferences. The first one is parental controls. Just click on that. You can see mine's turned off. When you turn it on, 
that's going to ask you to set up a PIN number. So once you set up a PIN, write it down somewhere. You'll have to put that PIN in when you want to use your content on your Fire Stick. My third bonus tip is to close your apps once in a while and put your Fire Stick to sleep at night. The Fire Stick, after all, is just a computer and it really helps to restart it every once in a while to keep it running smoothly. So let's say you were running Cinema HD. Again, like I showed you before, just go into the settings and you know, find whatever apps you were using that day. Go back to manage installed applications. And let's say I was running uh, BTV. Just go in here and just force stop. And then go back to your home screen and use that, um, use the shortcut button again, the home button. Click on that and scroll over to sleep. Press that, your Fire Stick goes to sleep. Just like that. Now the last tip I have for you guys is get yourself a VPN. It can be any VPN that you like, but I recommend IPVanish. It's one, it's an, it's an affiliate link for me. I'll have it in the description below. If you'd like to support my channel, just click on that link and sign up for an account. And, uh, and then you're gonna be supporting the channel. In order to get it on your Fire Stick, it's actually in the Amazon store. So again, you can use the Alexa button. IP Vanish. And it's gonna come up and then you can install it from here. And once you have your username and your password, mine signs in automatically. You'll put your username and password in. This screen will come up and then you just scroll down to where it says connect. Click on that and then it's going to connect to a server that's not in your city. It'll be a random city or you can set it yourself to another city. So here you can see that it's connected and now you can go, you can stream content and your, your IP address or, and whatever you're streaming is going to be totally private. So that's it for now guys. If you like this kind of content, make sure you hit that subscribe button below, smash that like button and share this video with a friend. This is Rich Man. I'll see you next time.